So um, starting out, um, what I want you to do is, um, at least at the beginning, is just knock on the head of the banjo, making sure that your thumb hits the strings as your fingers knock down. And that's just to get that motion happening where you're hitting inward and the thumb and the fingers are all moving together. So nothing is working independently. And then we wanna progress that so that you're hitting the first string and your thumb is landing on the fifth string. And then we progress that to a strum. And then we start sounding the thumb. And you can go back and forth between those different options just to really make sure that that kind of knocking motion or the thought of knocking is coming into the drum and that you're not changing a whole lot when you start adding the thumb. And then you just transition till it's a single and a strum thumb. particular to think about is that I want your wrist to stay close to the instrument so that it's not out here and that means that you can move from the wrist and that the motion stays as much sort of in and out not up and down and in order to do that just keep the idea of knocking and also keep the idea of this part of your hand being slightly out from the instrument and being the area that comes up when your hand rebounds. So it doesn't come up from there, it comes up more on, from this side of the hand. I also want you to think of that hand coming up uh, like a rebound, jumping on a trampoline. So that it becomes really gentle and easy, not lifted and not big or aggressive uh, in that motion. Keep things small, gentle, and prioritize the hand motion over the sound or accuracy at the beginning. I think that's it. Can you play? Yeah, play. Yeah. <laughs>